You know, it's estimated that in our country, at this moment, there are 35 million handicapped and disabled people. And that figure doesn't take into account many older people whose mobility is often severely limited. For all of them, the telephone provides a crucial link to the outside world. And the Bell system has developed a variety of special devices that allow these people to make regular and easy use of the phone. Let's take a look at some of them and meet one of Bell Telephone's most ingenious specialists. His name is Ike Eichelberger, and his ingenuity extends to creating and installing unique, customized telephones, as well as more conventional aids for people who are handicapped. Ike, welcome to Over <clears throat> We've got a variety of equipment here, and I understand that uh, the, the special equipment that isn't even made yet could be made to special needs uh, for people who have them and, and with no profit to the telephone company. That's right. We in the Bell System have had a, a long history of being concerned about the telephone user, and I guess primarily so because it's a lifeline. It, if, it is the way that you can stay in touch with the outside world, sons and daughters, moms and dads. Sure. and the, the health service agencies that are, are available to you. Uh, once you're confined, it's very difficult to get out. This is a logical avenue of staying in touch with the rest of the country. Excellent. Now, what, all, what have you brought here that would uh, illustrate what can be done for people who are handicapped? What I've tried to do here is, is amass, surprisingly enough, things that are available right now. They're available today. Uh, that All it requires is a call to the local telephone company office. An example, if I may. The first thing that I've noticed in my case is my eyes are getting a little weak on me. And here's an item that we have. It's just a matter of calling your local office, and they'll mail you one out. It's well, just a it? large dial. Oh, uh, sure. It makes it yeah, possible for you to see the numbers without having to go put that's your glasses right. on. Because ordinarily those numbers are inside there, aren't they? And you right. Just see what the, that's good. Yeah. Right. Now, what, what else have we got here? That, uh, Another standard item, surprisingly enough, is, is an amplifier. Now... Uh, this is this is what we're going to have you help us put together here. Right. What no. we want to what we want our our telephone users to know is, you don't have to tough it out trying to hear the person on the other end. You've had a long distance call from your son or daughter, and you have trouble hearing them, or a close neighbor, or you have a hearing problem, and it's not it's nothing in, to be ashamed about having a hearing problem. What we'd like to do is show your viewers how much volume they can get out of just the standard unit. Now here's the telephone. This microphone I'm holding in my left hand is, is your ear. I'll put that right there. Okay. And we'll hear a dial tone. As soon normal. as I give you dial tone, then you can adjust the volume. Okay. You hear that tone? Now listen to this as I crank it up. It can become that much louder. Yeah, that, that's a now, good amplification. Now concentrating that in the, in the air canal, obviously, you, you'd realize a tremendous increase in sound. Right. Another problem we find is that the people don't hear the telephone ring. And I've had it happen many times myself. They'll say, we've called and you didn't answer your phone. I didn't know that it was ringing. I didn't hear that particular sound. We have a custom unit that generates a, an electronic frequency that's very penetrating. Now, we have a demo coming up. And that will reach into the other room or I uh, venture or to guess <laughs> if you were two, yeah, two loud, rooms yeah. away, you'd still hear it. Yeah, that's very good. Uh, remind, re keep in mind, these are standard. You right, can have this are. tomorrow morning. Right. And we actually have had cases where the telephone user could not hear any bell at all. They could hear you on the phone, but they couldn't hear a bell at all. Yeah. And what we have done in a case like that is provide an electronic control. And you can plug in any electric device you want. In this case, we have a lamp set up here. Now, the oh, telephone is actually ringing, and you can see it so flash. So if you didn't hear it at all, well, you'd, you'd, the light would let you right. know that it was, it was right. ringing. Yeah, that's terrific. What I'd like to show you here, just to give your audience an idea that if you can breathe, blow out a match, if you can wiggle a toe, if you can move a finger, the Bell Telephone Company can put together a unit that will still allow you to be able to use a telephone of some sort. And this is an actual unit for a young man we have working in, a, in, a, in an advertising office. He operates everything with a stick in his mouth, but he's gainfully employed. He is employed. He is gainfully oh, that's employed. that's magnificent. That, that's very, uh, that's an ingenious example. Was that custom? That custom was made specially for him.